Oregon is a state that is really defined by our rivers. From the old growth forests to the high desert, uh, rugged canyons and the Owyhee River, the Deschutes. We have amazing rivers across our state. Clean water, outdoor recreation, the ability to fish and to hunt. Rivers are everything in Oregon. Oregon has grown so much in population that we're putting additional stresses on our important critical waterways. Construction near the watershed, adding additional pollutants into our clean rivers are all factors that are impacting wild fish that we need to protect for. The reason we think rivers are so important to the state of Oregon is that it also brings in a number of tourists that's really important for our economy. And if we don't participate in advocating for these places and protecting them, then they won't exist for our customers or um, our business. In Oregon and in the United States as a whole, we really rely on our watersheds more than we realize as sources of recreation and places to enjoy nature and be with friends and family. As far as I'm concerned, water is the next gold and it's a precious commodity and we need to protect it so that generations to follow have the same safe, clean drinking water that we have right now. We're calling it the River Democracy Act. We went out to every nook and cranny of our state and 2,500 Oregonians submitted 15,000 nominations of rivers and streams across Oregon that they would like to see added to the National Wild and Scenic Rivers designation list. Basically, once you have protected the area, you're not going to be able to ravage it with the kind of economic prospects that disturb the wild and scenic nature of it. What our wild and scenic rivers are all about is thinking for the longer term. Kira, Sydney, and I are the presidents of the Ventai Environmental Club and work to support climate legislation and raise awareness for the environment. We decided to nominate Wychus Creek as a wild and scenic river because we believe that the intrinsic values of our natural watersheds need to be protected. I went to Senator Wyden's town hall meeting in Bend and presented a short speech about why we wanted to protect the river, what it meant to us and what it meant to our community. We nominated Wychus Creek in order to protect the important restoration work that's been done there to bring back willow trees and protect beavers and steelhead salmon and it's also actually an important site to Native Americans. My family has always like instilled in me the importance of leaving things better than you found them. So through this appreciation, it's really like inspired me to use my voice to speak up and protect them. Thousands of people from across Oregon nominated rivers to be included in this Wild and Scenic River Bill. We had people from tribal leaders, local government officials, high school students, middle school students, and local brewers nominating rivers. This is the Shoots Brewery. We were founded in 1988 in a small brew pub in downtown Bend. You now see the, the brewery that's really developed over years and years. Most of beer is, of course, water. So having free flowing and clean water is probably one of the reasons that there's 400 breweries in Oregon. When people think of Deschutes beer, the quality of the water really shines through in the flavor profile and the different nuances that we have when we incorporate the malt and the hops and other ingredients into the beer. So it's a key component of it. In fact, what we do every day is we taste the water that we have in the brewing process to make sure it's the quality that we want in our beer. The reason we think rivers are so important to the state of Oregon is because it supports 173,000 jobs, just outdoor activities, and about $16 billion in revenue. 
Sport fishing contributes about 1 in 20 jobs in the state of Oregon. The more wild and scenic rivers we have, the more wild fish will thrive in our state, and the more economic and social benefit that all Oregonians will receive. Roughwear makes outdoor gear for dogs. <laughs> a pup. Everything that a dog needs to get outside with its human. So our business really depends on people having spaces, outdoor spaces and rivers to do that. We recognize the importance of using our business and our voice as a force for good. Protecting these places that we can create memories with our dogs that are so important to our lives and our happiness. Senator Wyden's proposal is challenge is to protect more rivers in the state of Oregon than any other state in the U.S. And this is important and necessary because we do have thousands and thousands of river miles that are currently not protected. This is Henry Creek, which is our source of water for the 365 residents up here in the Rotodendron Water Association. Henry Creek starts up here, comes into this diversion pond, and then through these screens into our uh, baffling chamber. And a lot of people don't understand the, the process that water goes through before it gets to their faucet. We pride ourselves on being able to provide a safe and reliable source of drinking water to our ratepayers. What we've got here is our slow sand filter. This is the way that we filter our water most of the time. I uh, nominated Henry Creek for wild and scenic designation because we want to protect our source water for many generations to come. I believe protecting our rivers is really in Oregon's DNA. You get it wrong and you exploit a special place, you can't very easily come back and um, undo it. So what we want to do is grow this idea, and this is about how we contribute to making our state a better place, but also making our country a better place.